Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to wire up LED lights for the um, a MAME controller, arcade uh, push button light up controller. All of this, uh, these pieces I purchased from GroovyGameGear.com That's my uh, supplier for all my LEDs and buttons and anything dealing with uh, arcade cabinet building that I uh, like to do. So, um, things you'll need are obviously an LED the little resistors that come with the LEDs when you purchase them or if they don't then you're buying them from the wrong place and then some uh, Cat5 twisted pair. I've actually opened up the Cat5 cable and separated the uh, blue, orange, green and brown cables. I recommend using this type of cable because uh, depending on the colors you use the LEDs that you're going to use uh, you can pretty much match them up so this is the blue, blue-white cable so I'm going to put my LED, my blue LEDs on this type of cable. And then uh, green or green and red I'm using as the orange and white I'm using as the brown. Um, so the very first thing I learned how to do here is put your heat shrink on. Um, you always want to put this on before you start just so you don't end up having to undo, unsolder everything to put this on or end up using uh, electrical tape because you finished and didn't put the heat shrink on. Um, the next thing you need to identify is on the actual LED itself. I know you're not going to be able to see this, but there are two prongs coming out and they go into the LED light itself and there is a big, uh, a larger piece of metal in the inside and a smaller piece of metal. Uh, it actually does matter which way you wire these, the positive and the negative. So what I found is the uh, larger of the two pieces on the inside of the LED is the negative and that is the same side that gets the resistor and uh, the positive goes to the uh, uh, 5 volt positive uh, connector on your controller. I'm going to be using an LED Wiz. Um, so the first thing I do here is I split these metal connectors left and right to the to the LED so you'll see they come they come in here to the left and then the metal goes up and come down and out and so the bigger piece of metal again is on the right side so this is going to be my negative and then I take my resistor you don't want to cut these I was cutting them at first thinking they were just extra but they actually do help out because when you're putting them into the switch if you don't have that clearance then the button itself doesn't actually get depressed. Um, it doesn't move right. So leave um, leave the connecting ends here on the LED and um, sort of use them as a gauge to how far you have to separate and connect your wires. So again I'm going to go on the larger side as the negative side. I put it to about right there. I know the video quality sucks. And then I just start wrapping it around it. I'll wrap it around almost all the way to the to where it gets to the LED bulb itself. Like that. Basically that's what it looks like. It's just twisted around. The little resistor's right there. And then I hit it with a little solder. Okay. So that's all soldered up. I don't know if I said this before, but if you can find CAD5 cable that's got actually the the strands of uh, copper rather than the solid, I think the strands work a little better, but solids work too. And basically I'm going to just do the exact same thing. I'm going to put it about right there. And just start twisting the CAD5 cable, making sure that I'm, I'm using the solid color as the negative, the stripe color is the positive. Just start wrapping it around. Like so. And I get it soldered first before I cut off any of the slack. I'll solder this end. Alright, I 
line and now I will go ahead and cut off the excess oh nah, I'm good I thought I might have cut off just a little too too much but it'll be good okay so then you have your cable to your resistor to the negative side of the LED and I'll go ahead and slide my heat shrink on. I only go up to about right there uh, because like I said this distance is a great distance uh, to have um, inside the switch inside the actual uh, electric ice uh, push button switch so that it doesn't interfere. This heat shrink and the wiring doesn't interfere with the actual function of the button. So I'll get that there and then we'll Shrink it up. Like that. All right. Now we'll do the same for the positive side. It's much easier to deal with because you only have one. So I'll get right up to the end of the wire, right up to the tip of this um, lead here, and then just start twisting the wire. Until it gets to the bulb right there and then hit it with a little solder and after you have it soldered then move your heat shrink up I'd say at least three or four times today I forgot to put that heat shrink on which is why I say it should be your number one step get the heat shrink on the cable alright so now that you have this in this sort of T fashion here I would leave it in this T fashion just until you get it positioned on the switch properly and then you can bend it bend the little arms to, to get it to fit so I'm going to test it now I'm using a um, just a little, I don't know what voltage, I think it's a 3.5 volt um, 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 I don't know, I don't know where where I got it from, but it's a, just a little AC adapter. There it is. So that's a blue light, believe it or not. So I always test it, make sure that I wired it properly before putting it into the arcade itself. So I'll probably shoot a couple other little videos of this uh, bar top arcade that I'm constructing uh, as my project right now a little later on, but um, that's it. That's how you wire up the LEDs. Again, um, I got a, a plug groovygamegear.com. That's where I purchase all my LEDs from. Best prices, quick shipping, and um, I pretty much can get anything I need uh, for there. Uh, including the push buttons, which I'll demonstrate a little later, the actual uh, um, electric ice push buttons. I highly recommend those. I've been using those for a couple of years now. And my other main arcade boxes. So uh, this has actually been the first time I've ever wired the LEDs myself. I typically had uh, Groovy Game Gear, or I purchased it in a package where the uh, lead wires and everything come together. So. Uh, for this machine, I didn't want to use the RBG. This is just uh, green lights and red lights. I didn't need to have the multicolored. Um, so uh, that is it. Again, I can't stress enough. You need to make sure that you know the large side when you're looking into the LED, the large piece of metal and the small piece of metal. Identify those so that you wire them up properly. And you do have to use a... Um, uh, if you're going to test, you do have to use some form of AC transformer. The one I'm using, uh, you know, kind of just looks like like this. But also make sure that the output doesn't exceed your LED. I wouldn't go anywhere over uh, five five volts on uh, on this. But test it always before you um, put it all together and everything. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Check out my other videos.